Hi everybody and welcome to Repair Guide DK. Just a quick disclaimer, normally I do this in Danish because my YouTube channel is in Danish, but I'll do this one in English. So all my foreign viewers, if any, <laughs> will be able to follow along without subtitles. And also for my Scandinavian brothers in Sweden and Norway, they might not understand Danish so well. So we'll do this in English. Just a quick recap. Uh, this is Homey Pro Mini and uh, I did a video not too long ago about this. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, this is Homey Pro Mini and it's currently only selling in USA and Canada. It's not available in Europe. Uh, if it will be available in Europe, we don't know. Well, Homey knows. They just won't tell us. <laughs> I think I think they are looking at the sales numbers in USA and Canada, and uh, maybe they will release it in Europe. I, I still think there's a market for this in Europe because uh, we only have two option options. That's the Homey Pro 2023, the big one, and then we have a Homey Bridge. Forget about the bridge, that's not for us nerds, but uh, we don't have anything in between. I think this would suit the Scandinavian or European market very well. Uh, of course, it doesn't have C-Wave, it doesn't have infrared and it doesn't have Bluetooth, but it's half the price. So uh, I, I, I still think it's relevant, um, very relevant, but uh, it's up for Homey to decide. But a few weeks ago, I did a video on this Homey Pro Mini uh, and I couldn't get it to function. I got a network request error or something. Uh, it was impossible for me to uh, install it on my network. I actually thought it was region locked, but the uh, Homey uh, has, has been telling me it's not region locked in any way. I also tried to put a, a Raspberry Pi board from uh, 2023 in this one. That didn't work because that board has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and the bootloader or something is not built for that board. So it just hanged uh, and didn't do anything. But um, the CEO from Homey, Emil, he saw my video and he was laughing at me, which is fine. And uh, he wrote me an email and said, Phil, Come on, you need to update the app and then it will work. So um, I went to check my app version, that was 9.3.0. So I actually had the latest app. And uh, I made a video for Emil and sent it to him. And he said, uh, oh shit, uh, we found a bug. So we will update the app tomorrow. So you will get a new update and then you can try again. So they actually updated the app to 9.4.0. That's what you are running right now because of me, of course. <laughs> I don't know, but they, fire, they found a bug. And um, the, the Homey Pro uh, image, which is the same image actually, uh, is 1.2.49. That's the latest firmware for Homey Pro. So today we are gonna I have my Homey Pro Mini somewhere. We are gonna try to install this on my network because it's not region locked and it should work now. And we are also gonna try to upgrade the Raspberry Pi board because this one is also running a Raspberry Pi CM4 module with one gig of RAM and eight gigs of EMMC storage. That is also why Homey um, tells us uh, don't install over 20 apps. The board in the Homey Pro Mini will be insufficient to support more than 20, around 20 apps because of the internal one gig uh, RAM memory. So I'm gonna change that. I, I bought a four gig, four gig uh, 22, uh, forget about the storage. The RAM is the most important. So I bought a Raspberry Pi 4 module with four gigs of RAM without uh, Wi-Fi and without Bluetooth. That's very important. So we're gonna try to change the board also. But let's see if we can install this sucker 
today and if it will work with the, the new 9.4.0 app and the new firmware. So let's do that. Okay, first step, let's put on some ethernet. Let's put on some power. I have my old powers power bank here. I think that will be sufficient. And let's try to boot this Homey Pro Mini up and let's go into the app on my phone. It's blinking white right now. I think it changes to blue when it's in setup mode. Now it's pulsing or breathing blue. We should be able to find it. Let's open the Homey app. And let's go to my homies. It's all in Danish, sorry about that. Uh, at new homie, yes. And they also changed the interface um, on the front here uh, in 9.4.0 of the app. Uh, homie Pro Mini. Put on power supply, put on uh, ethernet cable, yes, continue. Found a Homie Pro Mini. Activating. Homey Pro Mini is getting ready to... Oh, that was quick. Set up my home, yes. How many floors? Yes, 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 yes. Homey wants to know your location. That's fine. Next. Uh, setting up your threat network. Homey needs to have permission. Wait until you are getting asked. Continue. Do you want to give Homey permission to your home network? Yes, that's fine. Continue. You are ready. Thank you for showing us around. It's time to enjoy your smart home. Okay, let's do it. Whoa, Homey Pro Mini. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, that went smooth. Let's try to change the Raspberry Pi board and see if I have success with that. Before we disassemble the Homey Pro Mini, which is quite simple, I just want to take it back up of the image that is currently installed on the factory Raspberry Pi board, just in case you know. No worries, backup completed successfully. Let's disassemble the Homey Pro Mini and try to change out the Raspberry Pi board. It's pretty easy to open the Homey Pro Mini compared to the old uh, 2023. You just pry it open in one of the sides and it all pops out. First, you need to unscrew four screws and two plastic tabs on the side. You just need to release it so you can take out the whole circuit board. All four screws out and we can take the cooling element of the Raspberry Pi 4 and then we can easily without force pry out the Raspberry Pi 4 compute module. Here is a new module. This is 4 gig of RAM and 32 gigs of eMMC storage. Uh, align it to the socket and just push it in and then you just have to do everything reverse and you are done. Quite easy to upgrade this Homey Pro Mini, if it works at all, that is. We'll find out. Maybe we are lucky. It doesn't change to blue. It just uh, starts blinking white and then it's solid white. Let's try to open my Homey app. And let's go from 2023 to my Homey Pro Mini. It's, at least it's online. It's reacting. Let's go to more and let's go to settings and let's go to general. And let's see our storage is 1.1 gig used of 2.7. It doesn't really matter how big your board is uh, in the eMMC storage. It will always say this. But let's go to memory. Let's see. 420 megabytes used of 4 gig. Yay! So it's actually possible to upgrade the Homey Pro Mini also with a new compute module with 4 or 8 gigabyte. Uh, I would say 4 is the sweet spot also price-wise. Actually, in theory, we should be able to install at least about 40, 40 or 45 apps before 
the homie maybe starts to get a little bit slow. Fantastic! It was a big success today. Uh, now you know what to do if you get a Homey Pro Mini eventually. Uh, one gig will be um, sufficient for around 20 apps. That's what Homey says. What a great success we had today. We managed to install the Homey Pro Mini on my local network. It's not region locked in any way. And we also managed to install, upgrade uh, the Homey Pro Mini with a new compute module. A bigger one. This is a 4 gig 32 eMMC storage. Forget about the eMMC storage. It doesn't matter if it's a 8, 16 or 32. You won't get any benefit out of the storage, but you will get a, a huge benefit in the RAM. So if you can get a 4 gig or 8 gig uh, compute module, um, you can just, as you saw, you can just swap it in and uh, do, a, do a backup of your Homey Pro Mini and then do a restore, then you're good to go. Um, then it just works out of the box. If you buy this, it comes with a Raspberry Pi board with one gig of RAM and eight gigs of eMMC storage. Uh, it is ac adequate for around 20 apps. That's what Homey says. But now it has four gigs, so it should be equal to my Homey Pro 2023. Of course, it doesn't have C-Wave, it doesn't have infrared and it doesn't have Bluetooth, but you can actually pair this up with a Homey Bridge and then you have a full-fledged Homey Pro 2023. Of course, um, the compute module raises the price and then you have to ha buy a Homey a Bridge and then you are maybe almost in the price range of a Homey Pro 2023. If we will ever see this in Europe, I don't know, but Homey knows, but they won't, they won't tell me if and when we will see this in Europe. But um, great success today and, and a big thank you to Homey for responding so quickly. They didn't have to, but uh, there were an, a bug in the app, so everything is fine now. A big thanks to Emil, the CEO of Homey. Thank you, man. Um, um, now my Homey Pro Mini is working. I'll get back to you guys maybe in a month or two and let you know how it goes. I will also try to pair this up with one of my Homey bridges and see if I can get Z-Way, Bluetooth and all that working. So. Thanks guys for watching. I'll be seeing you in another video and uh, that, that video will be in Danish as um, I usually do. So have a great day and a great evening. Ciao.